Hi everyone and welcome to a new school year and to those of you who are new to ACS or new to the teaching profession a special welcome to you. I am John Sedwick. I'm the Technology Integration Specialist here in the Anderson Community School Corporation and these videos are something I call PDQPD and they are a series of videos that I make for teachers to help them along with some of the points of technology. I call it PDQ because I try to keep the maximum length of these at five minutes or less. And the PD part comes because I try to show tips and tricks and some new features of the tools that we use in the corporation, usually Google and Canvas, but I also like to bring in some new tools that I, that I find or some new techniques with those. So with that, I'd like to get started on uh, today's video and if you find that you like these videos and you don't want to just keep saving the emails to keep them you can click the subscribe button at the bottom underneath this window and you'll be subscribed to those videos on your YouTube and then they'll come to you immediately and you don't have to worry about saving your emails. Today I'd like to show you a new feature that came up in Google Docs this summer and that is how to make um, make sections within a document. So you can see here on the screen I have one of my favorite uh, samples that I use to show different features and that is the Gettysburg Address. And what I'm going to do here is I'm clicked here on the second paragraph. Now let's say we want to make a second section here and we want to set this off to change the margins. Well before this feature this wasn't possible. But I'm clicked here where I want to make the, the uh, break and I'm going to go to the insert menu and then part way down you see it there's an insert break. Now we can put a page break here which will just start a new page and that's pretty much that but you also have a section break that will start a new page or a continuous break which means it puts a break within the page and I'm going to go with the section break so I put a break at the beginning of this paragraph and now I'm going to put a, another pair uh, another break at the end of this paragraph so I'm going to click at the place where I want the second one inserted again go back to insert Click break and click a continuous break. Now you see I have a section lined off or divided off I should say um, in its own grouping here. So let's say that I want to change the margins within just this section. I can do that now by clicking the section where I want to change the margins and then I can start sliding the margins and you see it only affects this section. So this is a few Obviously, if you um, you or your students are doing some writing and you want to put a, an excerpt from another article or something within here, this is how you would do that. And then you can change those back whenever you want. Whoop, I think I clicked the wrong one there. And that allows you to make some settings for that particular section. Now, if you find you want those sections deleted, if you are on your Chromebook, this is a little bit tricky, click above where the break is and then if you click control and backspace it deletes that and then control backspace deletes the second one. Um, I'm going to put those back in for a second just to show you this one last thing. The other way you can change the margins here in this particular section is you can go to file page setup and then you see now you have the applies to this section you have some options here but if you have your cursor within the section you can then change the margins within that section I'm just going to do this just to show you what I mean click OK and it changes the margins for that particular section to 1.5 rather than what it was preset so this is a way you can line off uh, section off a particular section, change the margins. It's just another feature that makes Google a little bit easier to use and a little bit more uh, functional in your classroom. I hope this is helpful to you. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and as always have a great day.